Hey guys, we're back. It's your favorite gambling crazy girl, Vegas crazy. And today we are playing Stinkin' Rich. I am very drawn to this machine because A, I would like to be stinking rich, and B, I love good fun. You know the drill, $100 going in. Face up, go in there, come on. Take my, take my money, please. I would like to be stinking rich, thank you. All right, money's going in, there we go, money is in. Look at all these icons, this is gonna be a fun game. There's Stinky Cheese, lady in a fur coat. Who's that guy? He's got that robe on. All right, let's go. Spin to win, and away we play. First spin, nothing ever happens on the first spin. You should know that by now if you've been following me along on this stinking rich journey. All right, what kind of stinky things do we have on here? I saw, so there's stinky cheese, which of course always means it's good cheese. Uh, what else do we got? Is that an egg? Ugh, stinky eggs? That's one of the worst smells. Hey, hey, there's a win. Off of, is that a, what is that? A, a scooter? A scatter? Uh, I can't read. I forgot my glasses today, guys. I'm getting old. Scatter? All right. It's a scatter. Cool beans. You know what? If you guys haven't seen me, which none of you ever in the history of the world have, have seen me yet at this point, that beautiful, dazzling woman in the fur coat, just picture that as me. Because that is me, that is my vibe, that is my energy. Garlic, garlic isn't stinky. Garlic smells amazing. I like the smell of garlic. That's a really good smell. If garlic were a perfume, I think I would wear it everywhere. And a vampire would never dare to touch me. So two birds, one stone. Is this guy smoking a pipe too? Is he full-blown Hugh Hefner on here right now? I think he is. What else? Is that a, lo a lobster tail? What is that? Oh, hello, lady. Is she a chef? What we got going on here? Stinking rich. Is that a fish? Ugh. Fish do stink. Fish is not a pleasant smell. Is that a guy with a house? That icon. Is that a guy with a house? That's how you know that's old money because he could afford a house. People can't do that anymore. That's not, <laughs> it's not a thing we do anymore. Unless you're stinking rich. So if me and this machine get along today, ooh, thank you, Peppy Le Pew. Well, makeshift Peppy Le Pew. Woohoo, another little win. Not too shabby. Speeding through this one today. Speed around, let's go. Go, 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 go. I wanna be stinking rich. I wanna be stinking rich. Scatter me timbers! I don't quite understand the scatter. Is it a rat? I think it's a rat. Maybe it's a stinky rat. Lots of money. You know what he's giving his vibe, his energy, is that of Scrooge McDuck when he jumps into the vault of gold coins. Money, money, money. Ooh, trash for cash. That. That is enticing. That also sounds like, actually, I bet you anything that was the original tighter, title, tighter, wow. It has been a day today. <sighs> I bet that's the original title for uh, Jerry Springer. Trash for cash. <laughs> Come unload your trash and we will give you cash. <sighs> what a great show. RIP to a legend. Woo! Turns out talking about trash TV is working in my favor. My mom loved to watch trash TV, dude. It was a problem. But her favorite was the Steve guy. Steve! He got his start on Jerry, right? He was on Jerry as the bodyguard, and then eventually he branched off, had his own show. Neither one of those two people were qualified to help people with their life problems in any way, shape, or form. The only reason Jerry Springer even got a show is because he was a politician and got caught paying people for their services with a check and he couldn't be a politician anymore so they were like hey have a tv show and help these low-income individuals with high quality stories figure their life out and that's how we got jerry springer the more you know <laughs> down to 43 dollars turns out um i am not a cash for trash trash for cash I'm just trash. Ew, little win. Little Pepe Le Pew there. Thank you, Pepe. Creepy, creepy little skunk that guy was. But you know, 
It was a different time. Oh, it's a shoe. I thought that red one was a lobster. <laughs> it's a stinky shoe. Did you guys grow up places where they would toss shoes onto the high wires? Or is that just a me thing? I never understood why. Like what? Those are perfectly good shoes. You could, you could have given them to someone. They could have worn them. They could have used them. I have a friend from Park City, Utah. And he tells me that in Utah they would do that to summon the snow gods, but they would like toss up snow boots, which by the way, snow boots cost a pretty penny. Okay, talk about trash for cash. Costs a lot of money for them snow boots up there. But where I'm from, I think it was less of a snow god thing and more of just like a give me your lunch money kid kind of thing. But to each their own. But we did, we had our own rituals for like wanting it to snow. We would like put a, if it was like supposed to snow and you didn't want school the next day, you would put a spoon under your pillow. I think ice cubes in the toilet, pajamas inside out. Oh, look at that wind. We got a little wild wind. Thank you, stinky shoe. Speaking of the shoes. But those shoes reminded me of the shoes. See, the shoe story helped us win. This is a pretty big win. This is the biggest win we've had so far today. Hey. You snooze, you lose. Oh, no. <laughs> I told you it's been a day. Uh. And shoes. Snow days. That's something these kids in Vegas, they don't know what snow days are, and I feel bad for them. They have to go to school every single day. There's no, there's no, up. Oh, maybe no school tomorrow. Nope, you just, you gotta go every day. Another shoe in. Ha ha. That was a, see, a shoe in, shoe win. See what I, you guys, you, you still with me here? It's a pun day today. Well, getting down to our last $30 can't even afford snow boots with that. Do fish have tongues? This fish here has a tongue. He's sticking his tongue out. Blech. Do fish have tongues? I know whales have tongues solely based off of Pinocchio and Finding Nemo. But I don't know if fish have tongues. If they do have tongues, that's very weird to me. I don't, I don't want my fish having a tongue. It's just not, Blech. I don't want it. Thank you, Scatter. Scatter, has got a pit of patter. All right, down to $25 now. Come on, garlic, aren't you supposed to be like lucky? Oh my God, that's not garlic, that's an onion. That's supposed to be an onion and that makes way more sense for this stinky game than garlic because onions do not smell very nice. Woohoo, little wind, but we're still down to the last 15. Woohoo, 16. Back to 15, just like that. Back to 16, just like that. And then watch this. Back to 15, just like that. Oh, I thought this game was gonna make me stinking rich. This is false advertising. I don't look like I'm gonna leave here in a nice fur coat and a nice wood pipe. Not me. I'm not the one winning today. Well, there's a little win. Woo! I'll take the little wins. But uh, today was today was not a big win. I'm not stinking rich. I just I just stink. That's what I'm leaving today with. I stink. So see me. Smell you later. Aha. All right, that's it for me. Bye guys.